It's Thursday, September 7th, and hey, who out there would like Amazon.com's headquarters in their city? Or we should say Amazon's second headquarters. According to the Seattle Times, Jeff Bezos and company are looking to drop something like $5 billion on a second HQ that Bezos says will be a full equal to their current campus in Seattle. And wherever Amazon decides to build out its HQ number two, they're going to bring thousands of jobs with them. Amazon continues to expand like crazy with the workforce quickly closing in on 500,000. And with the recent acquisition of Whole Foods, they're working hard on the future of grocery shopping as well. According to what has to be the craziest RFP we've ever seen, Amazon is looking for a city with a highly educated workforce and a stable business friendly environment, which is business speak for make sure there are a lot of tax breaks. So if your city has about 8 million square feet of unused office space lying around, give Jeff a call. And it might help if you're an Amazon Prime member as well. We showed you the newly reskinned Nissan Leaf electric car yesterday, which is getting a makeover seven years after it was first introduced. Today, electric cars are still rare birds, but seven years from now, BMW says things will be very, very different. According to Reuters, BMW is going all in on electric car tech, with plans to offer a dozen electrified models by 2025. Currently, BMW offers just one pure electric car model, the i3, and its sportier i3S variant, along with the super futuristic i8, which is a high-performance hybrid. But Bavaria says they've seen the writing on the wall in the form of Tesla's electric car sales numbers, which were close to 100,000 units last year, with bigger sales numbers in the forecast. BMW is reportedly ready to show off a new four-door electric model next week at the high-profile Frankfurt Auto Show, and it will likely slot in between the i3 city car and the i8 showpiece. In fact, BMW says electric powertrains will even find homes in the M-Series line of performance cars and Rolls-Royce brand of luxury chariots, which BMW owns. So if you thought this electric car thing was a passing fad, well, don't be too surprised if the fad passes you on the freeway. In a launch that literally flew under the radar, SpaceX sent the Air Force's cool-looking baby space shuttle, known as the X-37B, into orbit on a classified mission early this morning from Florida. The unmanned shuttlecraft, which bears a certain resemblance to the now-retired space shuttles of yore, but has those cool twin tail fins, embarked on its fifth mission, classified, of course, to do whatever it does up there above the atmosphere. It was the first time SpaceX has lofted the super-secret space plane into orbit, but probably not the last. After the little shuttle went on its merry way, the Falcon 9 booster rocket flew back home for a perfect touchdown, the 16th successful return trip for a SpaceX rocket. How long the little shuttle will remain in orbit isn't known, but it has stayed up there for close to two years on a previous mission, so it could be there for a while. Meanwhile, SpaceX and Florida are battening down the hatches for incoming Hurricane Irma, which just leveled almost everything in its path on some islands in the Caribbean. Stay safe, Florida friends. That's all for DT Daily today. Be sure to catch up on all the day's tech news as it happens at digitaltrends.com. We have more stories on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Plus, catch all our podcasts on iTunes or wherever you go for your favorites.